Good evening and welcome to the Nest at New Bremen High School. It is the final night of the Midwest Athletic Conference volleyball season, and we have one of the three teams tied for the league championship and trying to win their third championship in a row. That would be the New Bremen Cardinals. Their opponent this evening, the Fort Recovery Indians. Their only two losses in MAC play have been to the other two teams fighting to stay at the top of the conference this year, the St. Henry Redskins and the Coldwater Cavaliers. My name's Mark Shines. My players are play alongside Mr. Jeff Overholzer. Jeff, it's a huge matchup. We got the lights out. We've had a wonderful national anthem by Miss Holly Smith, second grade class here at New Bremen. It's a special night here at New Bremen. And I'll tell you what, it's a special night in the MAC as well because you're talking about whoever wins these matches in the MAC. It could even be a three-way tie for the MAC championship. That it could. Coldwater at uh, seven and one. They are at Minster this evening. St. Henry at seven and one. They are at Versailles this evening. And New Bremen at seven one here against the Fort recovery and it's who are six and two. If you want to know how we got to this particular point, on August 31st, Coldwater defeated New Bremen 3-1. On September 14th, New Bremen beat Coldwater 3-2. And on September 21st, Henry beat New Bremen 3-1. So we have three teams with one loss, and we are headed towards a tournament play. And, Jeff, I think the other thing we should make that makes special special evening, and that is it is senior night here. They introduced all seven seniors from the Fort Recovery Indians and then three very special seniors here at New Bremen. Yeah, I think it was a special touch that they did that here at New Bremen. Not only do it for their own team, but did it for the opposite team as well. And a total of 10 seniors being recognized in this matchup. Seven for Fort Recovery, three for New Bremen. It has been league championship across Northwest Ohio this week. There are still a few championships to be decided yet. In the Northwest Conference, Crestview finished 8-0. They defeated the Lipsick, and Lipsick finished 7-1. The Western Buckeye League crown went to Shawnee at 9-0, their first Western Buckeye League crown. The Blanchard Valley Conference went to Liberty Benton. They were 8-0 in that conference. That's a conference that they have ruled for the last several years. The Shelby County Athletic League went to Fort, Re Fort Laramie, and you saw Fort Laramie yeah. on Saturday, Jeff. That's a really talented team there. Very, very good team. And they were 12-0. The PCL was a tie between Miller City and Lipsick at 5-1. and one. Lima Senior won the Toledo City League, one of the conferences in our area that has not yet been settled yet, the Northwest Central Conference, and that would be the Perry Commodores are on top. They are 8-0, but they still have conference matches to play yet with Ridgedale and Corey Rossum. We are in the end of the regular season, Jeff. We've got a couple games coming up on Saturday. It's tournament time next week, and we can kind of get to that. But first of all, the importance of this particular match for these two teams. Yeah, and when you look at these two teams, both are wanting to do well to get into the upcoming tournament. Division four, Fort Laramie is one. New Bremen is number two. Division three, Lake Catholic is number one. Coldwater is number two. Yep. St. Henry is three. Fort Recovery is number 10. So you have a lot of back schools that are going to make a real imprint in the upcoming volleyball tournament. That they are. We've already got kind of a volleyball schedule, soccer schedule put together as the tournament starts next week. Of course, we're in week nine of high school football, and week 10 next week will determine many matchups, and we'll get into the playoffs there. So you kind of want to stay tuned to WOSN over the next month, and we are ready for Mac Volleyball. Here's our first serve by Mara Pearson. And she gets an ace right out of the shoot. Mara had 23 of them before this evening, and now she has 24 as the senior player and very talented player for Coach Travis Guggenbiller. Second serve by Pearson. Melina Schrader sets, and from the back row, that's a kill that will go to Olivia Heitkamp, and we're tied at one. Now, both these schools during the season both had 10-game winning streaks. Diana Kramer's team at New Bremen, 17 and four. Travis Guggenbiller is 16 and five as Amelia Dammeyer serves long. And sometimes on senior night, those emotions get flying yeah. a little bit high and that went a bit strong. This is Megan Evers to serve. She has 18 aces on the season. Serve from her. And that will go to the libero, Kara, Kara Steiniger, and that will make it 3-1. The purple and black team on your right, that is the Fort Recovery Indians on the left. And your white uniforms with 
maroon and gold trim will be the New Bremen Cardinals. Serve goes to Heitkamp, Schrader sets, and Heitkamp pushes it over the back line. It's 4-1, visitors. Wow. Our officials today on the stand, our R1 is Steve Trout, and Mary Bruns is our R2. And here's the service again from Megan Evers, 4-1. To Steininger, Schrader sets, and back set to Mary Rindler. Back set again on the other side and tipped across. Steininger has to go get it. Schrader sets, and she did so illegally. Now double hit on New Bremen. And it was. Took a little while maybe for the Cardinals to settle down a bit yeah. with all of the festivities this evening. Got a very large student section beside us. Evers serves again to Steininger. Schrader sets, and Heitkamp. Good play in the back row, and hit out by mm. Number 10, Tegan Fortcamp, good effort, but not able to get to the ball and play it cleanly. Breaks a force point run. And to serve now will be the libero, Kier Steiniger. She's in the maroon uniform. Kelly Wendell is the libero. She just played the ball right there for Fort Recovery. And what's that ball? It's hit in. Tegan Fortcamp goes down line. 6-2, and said no, overrode it. 5-3, I was looking down to right. Jeff, I'm not sure what the call yeah, was. Yeah, I, I was on with it with you. I thought it was, they said, I thought it was in. Ball's hit out of the middle. Schrader hits, and Molina got it in. We've talked all year long, in fact, for the last couple of years, how talented as a setter Melina Schrader is, but she also has 104 kills, as she has mastered that from her setter's position when she's in the front row. Here's Steiniger to serve again. To Wemba. And that hit will go in for Tegan Fortcan. 6-4. Kennedy Mullenkamp, one of the two setters for Coach Travis Guggenbiller will serve at six foot. She also is very talented in the front row with 99 kills on the season. And Tretman puts that one away and makes it 5-6. Now they're doing quite well here at New Bremen, both football and volleyball championships last year they for did. state. Love coming down here, wonderful facilities, great people. Super coaches, good talent. Fort Camp will set. Probably knee camp hit that one. Schrader sets again. Tight camp, roll shot. Good play in the front row by, by Fort Camp. Schrader sets again, and another kill by Ava Trentman. Now New Bremen's finding that line as Fort Recovery comes right up to the net. Seen Ava Trentman really, really, really improve this year. 104 kills before tonight. She's become a major cog in this the Bremen Cardinal lineup. Back set. This hit will be by Paige Guggenbiller. Heitkamp from off the net, played by Fortcamp. And Fortcamp's going to get a kill opportunity, and she missed the sideline. But recovery wants a touch and does not get the call. For the first time, New Bremen leads as they have scored six out of the last seven points. And that change in that one play has actually altered what has happened here. And they're tied at seven as the serve is long. Because that's where New Bremen went on the roll. And the serve will be Tegan Fortcamp. It's Coach Guggenmiller's signal where he wants the ball served to. And that's an ace. ace. That will go off of Olivia Heitkamp. Second ace of this opening set for the Indians. Have, have they gotten that strategic for their coach to go up? Plant it over here. A lot of them do that now. Coach lines up. So here's where I want it to go. That's another ace. Back-to-back -back aces. Chalk them up for Tegan Fortcamp. Her 40th and 41st aces of the season. She leads Fort Recovery in those areas. 
one of the seven seniors on this foot recovery Indian team. Another one. Another one. Wow. They're really picking on high camp. Make it 10-7, and that will see our first time out. It will be called by the New Bremen Cardinals. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at the nest here at New Bremen. It is 10 for Fort Recovery, 7 for New Bremen. Our scoreboard is sponsored by Wabash Mutual Telephone, a proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Good service right here by Tegan Fortkin. Oh, yeah. Three in a row. Serve number four. That goes to Steininger. Cross court. Heitkamp. And Heitkamp gets a kill. Coach Kramer was about as excitable in her huddle <laughs> as I've seen her. Uh, she's just typically a, a forthright and uh, you know but her emotional energy was pretty high on that one good serve back set kill that attempt was by Paige Guggenbiller Schrader will set and that kill will go to Amelia Danmeyer and the serve will be Olivia Heitkamp again Callie Wendell, the libero, and there's an ace. Chalk that one up. 20th of the season for Olivia Heitkamp. And they we're tied at 10, and there's a timeout that succeeded. Kramer got her girl's attention. Set. That hit was by Mara Pearson. Dan Meyer hits, and she gets a kill. 11-10. Four consecutive points for Olivia Heitkamp in service. We're talking about Diana Kramer, eighth season, 197 wins here at New Bremen. And National Volleyball Coach of the Year last year. And that hit is long, and the run continues for New Bremen. I think we're getting a timeout. We are. Fort Recovery is going to take a timeout. As they have seen, it was 10 to 7, and all of a sudden, New Bremen got out of that timeout, and uh, they scored the first point, and then they served four in a row off a set, and they got it rolling right now. We talked a moment ago about uh, Coach Kramer getting after a little bit. Coach Guggenbiller exhorting his girls right now, too. Yeah, you're talking about these type of matches that are runs. Fort Recovery had three in a row, and now New Bremen five in a row. We're pleased to announce the new pricing for the WSN streaming service. For only $8 per month, you can watch WSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.wsn.tv. Also available on Roku and on Apple TV. This service has been done by Olivia Heitkamp, who is headed to the University of Toledo to continue her volleyball career. Serve goes to Wendell. Here's the set. Pearson hits, and Bremen keeps it alive. This will be Dan Meyer. That's blocked, and it's kept alive. Steininger, Schrader, and from back behind the 10-foot line was Heitkamp. Pearson again. What a dive. Yes, it was. This hit's going to be by Hirschfeld. Wendell will set T Fort Camp from behind the 10-foot line. Steininger sets again. Damn, our shot's blocked, and Steininger makes another play. This is turning into a great point. Mullenkamp popped that one up in the air, and then Wendell sets. What a point. And a kill. What a volley. What a point that was for those two teams. I think Carly Niekamp yeah, got the right. kill and ended that run. So they score coming out of a timeout. And make it 12-11. Sub coming in. Got to serve quick. Got five seconds, so she does get it in. Wendell. Dammeyer goes off a blocker and scores. And 
Off the bench to serve is Sarah Dwanger. Sarah has 18 aces on the season. Kind of one of those designated server types. Pearson hits. Hits a Dwanger. Set Dammeyer. And off the block, she gets it in. As Amelia Dammeyer scores. 14-11. Here's Dwinger again. To Wendell. Mara Pearson hits. Schrader does a really nice job, but it's blocked at the net. I think that was Sage Luthold got it, I think. I, yep. I've got Steve Trout, our R1, <laughs> in my way sometimes at the net, but I think she is responsible for that play. Yep. And, Makes you it 14 got, you got good eagle eyes, I'm telling you. You're well, good. It's hard to see through Steve, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm going to miss a little bit at the net because of our broadcast location behind where Mr. Trout's located. And, well, they save it after that was headed for an ace and bumped over by Amelia Dammeyer. That hit was by Luthold. And then Dammeyer hits. Pearson hits to Heitkamp. And Olivia Heitkamp winds up from behind the 10-foot line and puts one away. It is 15-12. That volleyball is in the air for quite a while. It was. Get it behind that uh, three-meter line. Let her go up and go get it. Here comes April Baker in to serve. April has 17 aces on the season. And that ball was contacted illegally. You can kind of tell. Double hit. Yeah, she was moving and her feet weren't set. And has a diff when that happens, that's a difficult time to get your hands under the ball properly. Here's Baker again. Set by Heitkamp. Katie Heitkamp. And that'll be a kill. We'll give that one to Kennedy Mullenkamp. And Kennedy is a front row player. Kayla Heitkamp becomes the setter. And Mara Pearson will serve. And her serve is long. 17-13, Cardinals, as Amelia Dammeyer will serve. Coach Kramer given the sign where she wants this serve to go. Played by Steiniger. And it'll be a high camp. And off a of Wendell. So the Ribeiro. Kelly Wendell couldn't play the ball on the hit by Hyde Camp. It's 18-13, and we're gonna get another Fort Recovery timeout. WSN timeout also. You're watching high school volleyball on WOSN. Back at the nest, what recovery has called their second timeout. A lead that was 10-7 in their favor has turned into an 18-13 deficit. And Amelia Dammeyer will serve. To Callie Wendell. And coming out of the timeout, a kill by Sage Luthold. She had 78. In the 62 sets they had played before this evening in 21 games. And to serve will be Megan Evers. It's a good timeout by Coach Guckenbiller. Break that mow a little bit, and the serve is short into the net. It's 19-14. Here's Ava Trentman back in. And Kira Steiniger, the junior libero, will serve. Tegan Fortcamp has to go get that one. Hits, puts a good hit on the ball. Here's Heitkamp. And Heitkamp hit it long, trying to go to the sideline. It's 1915. Kennedy Mullenkamp will set, and the sixth footer will become uh, the server and set from the back row. 234 assists in their 62 sets this year. Back set, Trentman. 
Wendell will set for camp. And she got it in. Wow, that was right on the line. Got up and turned that one over and got the dive on the back line. Here's Kennedy Mullenkamp again. Wow. 2016. Go ahead. Yeah, that's two straight net serves after they get point. It is 2016 on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard with New Bremen serving, and that means Melina Schrader would serve from here, and Melina will get an ace. 57th of the season for her. Makes it 21-16 with the future University of Dayton Flyer. Just a junior, another year here in her Cardinal uniform. And he's back to back aces for her. Is that a little different that yeah. somebody would com commit being a junior? Uh, when you're that talented and <laughs> somebody can lock you up, go get him. Here's Molina again. Another good serve. That's blocked. Kretman blocked. 23 16. Cardinals two points away from opening set victory. Trentman listed at 5'10 and a junior. Here's Molina again. Floats her this time. Wendell will set. I think that was going to get over. So it's 24 16, and we are at set point with Schrader. She served four of these last five points. And dives that one across, and another ace. And New Bremen goes on a roll and wraps up set number one. This one's 25-16, back to set two. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Second set coming up. Today's scoreboard sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone, a proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. And Jeff Overholzer at the break between sets. We had a couple of awards passed out to the New Bremen Cardinals. Yeah, Melinda Schrader with a career assist mark of 2,052. And Olivia now. I can't, yeah. yeah. Second with kills of 1,000. Yeah, that little, takes a lot when you're when you're doing it day in, day out. Melina Schrader, 2,052 career assists, is now number one. And Olivia Heitkamp with 1,000 kills, and second on the list. Known now as Paige Lagerman. Used to be Paige Jones before her University of Michigan career. Now an assistant coach here, so congratulations to both of those. You know, at one point it was 10-7 in favor of Fort, of Fort Recovery, and it ended up 25-16. That's an 18 to 6 run to finish the set out. As a matter of fact, New Bremen outscored Fort Recovery 6 0 at the end. And we didn't get to serve off. You have five seconds to serve. And our R1, Steve Trout, beckoned to serve. She didn't get it over in time. And so the first point of set number. I think what happened yeah. was they gave the volleyball to the, to the person to serve. Yep. She turned and wanted a different one. And it took the time. And so and they said it goes over to four recovery. Once, and, and you see here, this is the proper way to do it here in volleyball. The coach asked the captain to go talk to the head official. He explains the situation. We don't yell across the floor at each other. That's the two veteran people doing that. Either way, it's Fort, uh, Fort Recovery with a 1-0 lead early here. And Heitkamp pushes it to the back row, but she pushes it to Pearson. Schrader hits it to the corner. She didn't get all of that one, but she got a point out of it. out a little bit because she knew she didn't make her typical <laughs> contact, but nobody was able to get to it, and she put it in the back corner. We're tied at one as Kira Steiniger serves. To Wendell. Pearson runs it down, and Tegan Fortkamp free balls it over. Schrader will set high camp. Well, they both padded their totals. <laughs> yeah. Another Molina Schrader assist, another Olivia Heitkamp kill. 2-1. Fort Camp. And a 
up in the rafters. That's playable. Good job by Dan oh, Meyer to wait it out. Nice play. Yes. And then, is it touched? It was not. Amelia Dammeyer got out of the way and the ball went long. It's 3-1. Two good plays by Amelia Dammeyer. One to catch the ball in the rafters, the other one to avoid that hit. And all that ball was ping-ponging around up there, too, so she had to wait for that. Fort Camp. And Tegan chucks up an ace and breaks a mini run, makes it 3-2. Kennedy Mullenkamp heads to serve. Schrader sets Heitkamp out of the middle. They're tied at three. Ball bash mutual telephone scoreboard. To Dan Meyer. Schrader sets high camp. Good play by Kelly Wendell. Schrader hits it again. Wendell, prolonged contact. Yep. She had to reach behind her, Jeff, and in so doing, she had held onto the ball way too long. The only thing she could do to make it uh, so it's otherwise going to be a kill anyway. It's a good effort from her. Chris Schrader to serve. Molina hits the ball to the back row. Tip. Good play by Fort Camp, but a good dive by Schrader. Free ball, Steininger. That hit was by Paige Guggenbiller. Schrader will set again, and Heitkamp doesn't get it across the net that time. We're tied at four. I'm just sitting here watching both teams. Fort Recovery tends to go toward the net. New Bremen sets all their players back, most of them back toward the line. Here's Tegan Fort Camp. Set. High camp. 5 4. Olivia High Camp will go to the University of Toledo to continue her volleyball career. Schrader has to go get that one. And Steininger sets. And Danmarge has to free ball it. Pearson blocked by Trent. Fort Camp from behind the 10-foot line. And almost good oh, effort that time. Yeah. The first ball went to Mia Hirschfeld. And then Heitkamp had a chance for it. The ball was too well placed. It's five all. Here's Callie Wendell, the libero. 27 aces for her this year. 251 digs in their 62 sets. And the serve is long. It's 6-5 mm. Cardinals. I like the energy from both sides. Oh, yes. Mary Riddler will enter. Mary will play in the front row. There's a sophomore. There's number 14. And to serve is Sarah Dwanger. Good serve. Fort Camp. Back set. And a roll shot ends up being a point for Hype Camp. It is 7-5. Right now, New Bremen is looking at all parts of the Indians defense. Wherever the opening is at, that's where they hit it. That's blocked. Riddler got it. This would be Pearson, and she hits it to Heitkamp. Amelia Dammeyer. Good play by Pearson, and they kept it alive. Oh, nice really play. nice play, Fort Recovery. Tegan Fort Camp was the end of that. This will be Fort Camp again. And Rindler. 8 5. Fort Recovery had some outstanding defensive plays in that particular present, uh, point, but eventually it ends up being a cardinal point of perseverance. Yeah. 
ball was hit by Paige Guggenbiller. Hirschfeld, it's out, was it touched? Yes, one line judge has a catch call. I thought it was, we had to wait and make sure we had the call correct. We had a pretty good look at that one. Yeah, I, I thought that was the, the case. Just had to wait and make sure that uh, the officials that saw what I thought I saw, we could make the call. Here's Dwanger. Another good play by Fort Camp, and then they free balled over. Another good play, Fort Camp. Overpass, what a play by Schrader to keep that ball alive. That ball was headed over the net. She made a huge play, got it to her teammate to put it away. The last five points have gone the way of the home team. It's timeout for recovery. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Check out our website, WSN.tv, for scores and standings for more sports and teams than anyone in the state. Check out our broadcast schedule, upcoming games, social media posts, and more at WOSN.tv. A Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard, the last five points have gone the way of the New Bremen Cardinals, and they lead 10-5. So four of those points have been served by Sarah Dwenger, and she will serve again. Pearson tips it across. Schrader got to it, and it went out of bounds. Good diving effort, but the timeout worked as well. Yeah, it's like we were talking. Fort Recovery's playing great defense, so is New Bremen. But boy, when New Bremen gets to the net, they have a peripheral vision. They can see exactly where they want to hit the volleyball. Here's Kayla Heitkamp will serve and then become the setter from the back row. Good serve from her. Amelia Dammeyer. Ooh. She missed the sideline. Really nice call by our line judge down here. Staying with it. Hard to do sometimes. It's a little hard when the volleyball is coming right at him. It is. <laughs> Set. Rindler. No, Rindler. Uh, Puts it through a blocker. It is 11-7. And entering will be April Baker. You're talking about Rindler, only a sophomore. Yeah, we, we talked about that uh, earlier in the season, Jeff. There are only three seniors on this team that is ranked number two in the state, playing for their third consecutive MAC Volleyball Championship. Good serve. Back set and hit. That hit was by Sage Muthold. Here's Amelia Dammeyer, and point will go to Fort Recovery. 11-8. And Mara Pearson will serve, 5-11 senior, one of the seven seniors on this 10th ranked team in Division Three. It's 12-8. There is Amelia Dammeyer to serve. One of those three very successful seniors. Pearson runs that one down. Kelly Wendell plays it over. Schrader will set. Hyde Camp will hit, but it's blocked. Chalk that block up to Kennedy Mullen Camp. Perfectly timed and well placed. It's 12-9. Recovery hanging in there as Kenzie Garkey will become the new server. 12 aces for her this year in her senior year. And she missed the sideline with her service, 13-9. You wonder how many points would take away on those kind of type of serves. Yeah, you know, the, the, the whole MAC, the Shelby County League, these people down through this area, they call it risk-reward. You know, we're going we're gonna to miss a few, but we're going to score points when we don't. And very successful form of volleyball down here across the southern part of our viewing area. Heitkamp will get this hit. That's off a blocker, but it goes out of bounds. Mullenkamp got a hand on it, but couldn't keep it in play. It's 14-9. 
Pierre Steiniger. Junior Libero to Wendell. This will be Tegan Fortcamp, kept it in between. Whoa, the, that was close yes. to the antenna. Really nice job on her part. From behind the 10-foot line is Mara Pearson. And the block goes to Heitkamp. It goes 15-9. Steininger will serve again. Olivia Heitkamp with seven kills so far in this match. Steininger short with her serve. It is 15-10. And here is Kennedy Mullenkamp's serve. Schrader hits it over. The pass was a little long, and she just went up and put it away. 16-10. And now Molina will serve. Set, killed by Paige Guggenbiller, and the play back is out of bounds. It is 16-11. Fort Camp. 5-11 senior. He's got three aces tonight, all in the opening set. Schrader free balls at two Fort Camp. And hit to the open area by Paige Guggenbiller for a point. 16-12. That time you, you lose, you use a little, like a change up. Not hit it hard, but just enough to get it over. Heidkamp's return is long. They got a free point. Yes, they do. I thought they had a play left. Set. High camp to foot camp. Point 17 12. In this set, Fort Recovery has scored only three points on their service. And hence they trail by five. Wendell has to go get that one. Mara Pearson will hit the ball. And that's blocked. Give that one to Pearson. 17-13. Play in the front row by Mara. Callie Wendell will serve. Good serve. Back set. The kill was by Hirschfeld. Pearson hits that one. Hirschfeld again. That time she hits it through the blocker for a point. 18-13. Sarah Dwinger's turn to serve. She had four points in this set. She had uh, three in the previous set. So she's had a good evening. And it's long on the effort by Tegan Fortcamp. It is 19-13. And we are going to get a Fort Recovery a timeout trailing by six. Jeff, while well, we've got a moment, you know, it's, it's tournament time coming up here for both of these schools. Let's look first of all at the Fort Recovery. They won a state championship back in 1991. They are in the Division Three Northwest Three. And then they will be uh, at St. Henry for their tournament action. I think that uh, Allen East and Wayne Trace play on the 16th. Is that correct? And then the winner will play Fort Recovery. Correct. That will be the second game that night at 7:15. And whoever comes out of that particular uh, set will end up in the Kaleida District. And those matches are at uh, October 23rd and the 25th. And yeah. So, so one, one of the things you're talking about, Allen East and Wayne Trace. That winner gets Fort Recovery. Fort Recovery yep. wins that one. They're going to have to play St. Henry. And then yep. eventually, one of those teams are going to play Coldwater. We will give you the Bremen one as we go through this to this evening. Let's see what happens coming out of the timeout. Well, coming out of the timeout, Fort Recovery scores a point to make it 19-14. 
I think it's going to be a really exciting tournament. Oh. It all starts next Monday night in the Division Three. Here is a service by Kayla Heitkamp, and she's been beckoned to serve. She better get it going. We have one warning or one point earlier in this set, and she missed it. You get five seconds to serve from the time the official beckons to serve. We had a violation of that on the very first point of this particular set. Here's April Baker to serve. And again, only three points on service in this set for the Indians. That one rolled across the net. And that point will go to Mar Mara Pearson, who gets to serve then 20 to 15 on our Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Olivia Dammeyer just entered. She took April Baker's place in the back row. And will serve again, 21-15. And Amelia Dammeyer will serve. In our pregame tonight, they talked about her going to the University of Cincinnati to continue her academics. Hit out of the middle by Sage Luthold, set. Mary Rindler hit that ball to Wendell. And then Fort Camp hits. Good play by Steiniger. And then Fort Camp, or Hyde Camp comes back and gets another one. It is 22 15. Man, she's on a rail. She's got it going. Seven point lead. Both timeouts have been taken by Fort Recovery. Back sent to Mullenkamp. Uh, Schrader had tried to push that one over and misfired on that one. 22 16. There's Kenzie Garkey in to serve. The Indians need some points on service here, trailing by six in set two. Ace for her. There we go. 22 17. She had 12 aces before tonight's action began. Give her one in this set. Fifth ace of the match for what recovery. And what do we got? Foot fault. She went over the line on her service. Wow, you don't see that often. You don't. Line judge had it, served the R1, Steve Trout. Good call by both of them. Pick that up. The yellow line is in play, so no part of your foot can touch that yellow line or go over it before the ball is served. Now, you can be in the air over it, but you can't touch. Fort Camp to Steiniger. Schrader sets. Good block by Mullenkamp got it. And that kill will go to Carly Neekamp. What recovery I stays think, alive at 23. I think we've seen just about anything in, in this, this what match. What happens when, uh, Jeff, when you get to Mac Volleyball, you get a lot of really talented young ladies. Here's Kennedy Mullenkamp to serve. Six-foot junior. Good serve. And Olivia Heitkamp gets a point off a blocker, and now the Cardinals are a point away from taking the second set. It is 24-18. Melina Schrader will serve. Megan Sherrick is our camera operator. Yep. She'll be the editor as well. Kennedy sets. Tegan Fortcamp hits the ball. The first throw. Olivia Heitkamp for the set. And there she got it. Pass set killed just the way they draw it up. And this one will be a 25-18 second set that will go the way of the New Bremen Cardinals. Set three coming up after this. You're watching High School Volleyball on WSN. We're ready for third set action here at the Nest. Our scoreboard tonight is brought to you by Wabash Mutual Telephone, a proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. And we appreciate their support here at WOSN for all of our athletic contests. New Bremen, 25-16, 25-18. Any numbers to jump off the page after here, Jeff? Yeah, Olivia Heitkamp, 
11 kills, mm. dominant in that second set. And eight kills for Molina Schrader. And 4-4 four, four recovery, though, their top players, Tegan Forkamp, almost non-existent in that second set, as well as Kennedy Mullenkamp. But there's signs that, you know, even though they're not scoring, as you mentioned, they are getting it done to a point where they are making points and making close. But uh, New Bremen up two sets to none. With that in mind, the first service here in this set will go to Fort Recovery and to Tegan Fort Camp. Set three will be uh, a little kinder to the Indians. It was 10-7 in the first set, and since that time, there's a kill. That will go to Amelia Danmeyer. It has gone the way of the New Bremen Cardinals. They have really played well. Here's Amelia to serve. By the way, New Bremen did win the JV matchup, 25-18 and 25-15. So you're saying the Cardinals got good players coming? Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. That hit was by Pearson, set for Heitkamp, and Olivia hits it to Callie Wendell. Pearson will get another shot, and this shot will go long for her. It's 2-0 Cardinals out of shoot. Here's Amelia Dammeyer again on senior night here at New Bremen. Pearson's got not her best swing at that one. She's played pretty well this evening, and I think she'd like to have that one back. 3-0, Cardinal. Good serve to Wendell. We're going to set Pearson again, and this one she hits perfectly to Steininger. There's Heitkamp, and Olivia misses. It's 3-1 on our Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. And Carly Niekamp will serve at 3-1. Hyde camp off a blocker. 4 1. Kier Steininger will serve. 39 aces for the Libero. Second on the team to Schrader's 56. Almost another one right there. Pearson tried to do something with a set that wasn't uh, the best and wasn't able to get a point. And Coach Guggenbuller is going to take a timeout. We'll take a timeout, too. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. TV44 and WSN are nonprofit organizations supported by viewers like you. Now's a great time to make a donation of any size as a way to say thank you for this sports broadcast. Go to WTLW.com and click Donate here. Donations are accepted 24 hours a day. You can visit WTLW.com. 5-1 early on. Blocked by Trentman. Steiner, uh, Heitkam got that one after Schrader's shot was blocked. And off a blocker. That point will go to, I got a body in my way, Jeff. Paige, Paige Guggenbeller. Thank you very much. I had Mr. Trout in my way on that one and couldn't see who made the play. Thank you. It's 5-2. So the timeout succeeds. Good serve. I did play that time by... Olivia Dammeyer. Good play by Melina Schrader. Good set, and Pearson gets it blocked by Trentman. Dumped over, Trentman just free balled it. Wendell will set this time. And Mullenkamp got oh, it in. Wow. Really nice shot by Kennedy <laughs> Mullenkamp. That was like the coffin corner. Makes it 5-3 as they've scored a couple of points now after that timeout. Here's Kayla Heitkamp to serve. Good serve. And Olivia Heitkamp got it in. 6-3. Yeah. 
Lena Schrader to serve as Mia Hirschfeld will enter. And she gets an ace. That is ace number three tonight, I believe, for her. Uh, I've got ace number four. Good for you, because I lose track of some of that. <laughs> Get caught up watching the game and forget to write stuff down. Good serve there. Pearson hits. Schrader will set. High camp. And the block. Kennedy Mullenkamp again. She's coming alive here in this set. She makes it 6-4. Or 7-4, excuse me. Serve from R. Pearson. Just a roll over by Heitkamp. Ford camp pushes it to the back row. Trapman gets it blocked. Schrader has to play with one hand. Not sure that was Steininger, Libero. Blocked by Trapman. Makes it 8 4. Here's Olivia Heitkamp to serve. She has an ace this evening, a 19, now 20 on the season. And she got another one. She, <laughs> she rolled it across the top of the net for a point. It was almost like that landed in your lap. You called that one. 9 4, home team. Pearson from behind a 10 foot line. Chalk that point up to Mara Pearson. 152 kills before this evening. It's 9 5. And here's our libero, Callie Wendell, to serve. I don't have her down as a point at all. Usually she gets something. Back set. Hirschfeld's block. Steininger will set. And Amelia Dammeyer gets it blocked. Wow, what a save. Kennedy Mullenkamp is getting it done in this set. Hirschfeld. Tegan Fortkamp. Give Tegan a point. It's 9 6. Here come the Indians. Kelly Wendell again to serve. Ava Trentman, and just hit it so hard that Wendell couldn't make a play on it. It's 10-6. And Mary Rindler and Sarah Dwenger both enter. Rindler plays in the front row, and Dwenger will be the server. Tegan Fortcamp through Rindler's block. Schrader. And we got somebody in the net. Let's that see if was, call. yeah, Schrader. Yes, it was. Thank you. Yeah, she tried to stop her momentum, yeah. but couldn't underneath the line. Pass was just a little far. She did everything she could to get to it, but uh, couldn't do so legally. It's Kennedy Mullenkamp. Herschelt. Steininger with a good play. And, and we'll go out of play and will be an Indian point. Makes it 10-8. Kind of creeping back in it. It was 7-3 at one point. It was 9-4 at one point. And four of the last five points have gone the way of the Indians. Good serve there. And another point. Make it 10-9. Good service run going here for Kennedy Mullenkamp. Serve again. That's ace. an ace. We're tied at 10 on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. It's our first ace of the night. 18th of the season. Oh. 
Ruby Heitkamp. That was touched. Somebody got a hand on at the net. So that four-point run will come to an end. And April Baker came in to serve. Got these excitable boys beside us. I couldn't see who was heading to serve us. Well, April just got an ace. Yes, she did. 12 to 10. Her first of the evening. What, 18th of the year, I guess? She's just a sophomore. There's April again. Teams up by two. Good serve. Back-to-back -back aces. 13-10. Dupree is real good at that, getting it just over the net with a knuckle-type force on it. That one, yeah, into the net. But, boy, they know how to serve. 13-11 on our Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Tegan Fortkamp's turn to serve. Good serve. Oh, wow. Paige Guggenbiller said, I got a good look at this one, and she just hit it long. Yep, sailed it right out of bounds. 14-11, and Amelia Dammeyer to serve. Remember, has to play it off of tape. Pearson off a of blocker. Schrader sets. Rendler. This will be a set by Wendell. Schrader sets again, and Wendell got to that one. Well, try hitting the wood out of this play. <laughs> Rindler does. Mary Rindler, the 5'9 sophomore, took a good set on the slide and just put it away. The recovery just continues to defend, but just too many weapons wearing white jerseys right now. It's a four-point lead. Wendell. Fort Camp rolls it over. Schrader hits. And Fort Cam got to that one. Pearson hits off a blocker. And Olivia Heitkamp missed the sideline. He hasn't missed many of those, Jeff. Mm -mm. Pretty much on target. 15-12 as Carly Niekamp serves. She's a junior. At that point, the Paige Guggenbiller, it's 15-13. Fort Recovery continues to battle back. They got it from 9-5. They got it tied up at 10. It eventually got to 15-11, and they're two points down now. Good effort by the Indians. Camp plays it, and then right at the net, another kill that time for Olivia Heitkamp at 16-13. Sixteen kills for high camp. Kira Steiniger. Seventy-seven assists as a libero this year. Mark Pearson. And just pushed over with two hands, but with a lot of effort behind it. There's a kill that will go to Melina Schrader at 17-13. And we will get a timeout for recovery. Back with the rest of the set after this, you're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. The WSN Scores app is new and improved. Download the brand new app from your app store so you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download it today and stay up to date on all of the scores. Our scores on our Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard here at New Bremen is 17-13 home team in set three. And an ace coming out of the timeout will go to Kira Steiniger. Is that her first of the evening? Yes. That's what I have. 40 on the season. Seven points. 
float serve. Amelia Danmeyer played that one, and Heitkamp hits it off the antenna, 18-14. Entering to serve will be the new setter from the back row, Kayla Heitkamp. She has 283 assists in her 62 sets this year. Schrader sets, and Olivia Heitkamp pushes it to the middle of the floor. There's a Heitkamp set, and Kennedy Mullenkamp. Kennedy's had a really nice night, hasn't yeah, she? Sure has. Yep. And here's Kayla Heitkamp to serve again. She's a junior. Both setters are juniors for Coach Guggenmiller. Tegan Fortkamp, and she left a little bit short. Trenton was going to block it anyway, but the ball got into the tape before it could get to her. It's 19-15. Maria Schrader will serve. And Mia Hirschfeld enters the front row. That hit was by Sage Luthold. Trentman just tried to get it to an open area, and Callie Wendell makes a good play. That's blocked by Pearson. Back set Mullenkamp, and she got another point. 19-16. Indians hanging on the edge. They just can't quite get back to even. See what happens here with the service by Mara Pearson. Schrader will set. Heitkamp hits it. Wendell will set this ball, and Pearson will hit it. And not getting out on top of the ball as she would like to that time. Maria Hirschfeld hit it out of bounds. It's 19-17. They just keep coming, Jeff. Yeah. Both teams to the runs. It's been a very close set, a four-point run by New Bremen. It's kind of the difference in this one. Olivia Heitkamp, or maybe she's the difference. Yeah. 2017, she got another great assist pass from Melina Schrader. Those two obviously work extremely well together, and here is Olivia Heitkamp to serve to Wendell. Fort Camp hits it off a blocker. Schrader will set again. Schrader will set Dammeyer this time. And what a play. Two good hits that time by Fort Recovery. Trentman hits that one. Here's Fort Camp. Tips it to Schrader. Steininger will set Dan Meyer, and she got it in. Wow, nice hit. 21 17. I, I don't know how Fort Recovery can play any better defensively. Yeah. But the Bremen just keeps coming at you. It's 21 17. That's blocked by Trentman. 22 17. Ava Trentman, 5'10", junior. Here's Heitkamp again to serve. Schrader saved that when Trentman tipped it to an open area. And then Tegan Fortkamp makes it 23-17. New Bremen, two points away from this set, this match, and another MAC championship. 23-18. 18 on our Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Kelly Wendell serves this one. Trentman hit that. This one's hit by Fortman. And Trentman hit that off a blocker. And we are at 24-18, and the Bremen Cardinal fans coming to life. They know 
know what happens on the next point here as Sarah Dwenger will enter to serve. Dwenger serves. Tegan Fortcamp hits it off a blocker and Fort Recovery stays alive. It's 24-19. Kennedy Mullenkamp will serve. Set, Rendler, point. There's another win for your Lady Cardinals. And there you heard Scott Fry in Make the sure background. Special presentation. Because his home standing team, the New Bremen Cardinals, have taken a 25-19 victory here in set three to go along with uh, set number one, which was 25-16, set two, which was 25-18, and the New Bremen Cardinals are gonna celebrate their third consecutive MAC championship and seventh in school history. And Jeff, I, I think first of all, we need to start with Fort Recovery because I thought they played very, very well this evening. Just, this is a better New Bremen team tonight. Yeah, and they were trying different things defensively that they could do. I mean, diving for the balls just like New Bremen right, was doing. So like but, I mean, it was just a great matchup between Fort Recovery and New Bremen. And, and you can see here we're going to be presenting them with a trophy depending on what happened with Coldwater at Minster and St. Henry at Versailles. Could be a single championship, could be a, a three-way tie. We'll, we'll just have to see how that all plays out. But certainly one of them is getting a trophy right now, and that's the New Bremen Cardinals. Congratulations, yeah. ladies. One thing we never had a chance to get in tonight, Jeff, and that is where they will play in the tournament on the 17th, or the D4 tournament that goes to Wapak. On the 17th, Waynesfield will play Spencerville, and New Bremen will play on the 19th at 6 o'clock right here against the winner of that match. Yeah, that's in the Region 16 and the uh, Ohio Volleyball Tournament, so... New Bremen, they're getting ready for all that. Boy, they are. And then they will go on to district action, or at least the winner of that match will go on to district action in Wapak on October 24 and on October 26. I want to thank our sponsor this evening. That will be Wabash Mutual Telephone. They brought our scoreboard to you this evening, and we appreciate all their efforts. I want to thank Megan Sherrick. Megan has done all of our technical work this evening and camera work. So thank the athletic here director here. That would be Chad Wells, and we thank you for watching. New Bremen wins at least a share of the MAC championship with a three-set victory, 25-16, 25-18, and then the final set, 25-19, over the Fort Recovery Indians. You've been watching High School Volleyball on WOSN.